Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the Honorable, the Head of English Education Department, Mr. Dr. Yusuf Supriyana, SPDMTV. The Honorable, all lecturers of English Education Department, and the Honorable, all participants of this webinar. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, my name is Muhammad Zanwar Irshad, a sixth master student of English Education Department, will be the moderator of today's webinar. I'm very pleased to see you here and welcome all of you to this HS webinar on academic presentation 2022. Today's webinar is about the better your diction, the better your English. Before that, I'd like to read the regulation for HS webinar on academic presentation 2022. Uh, this webinar will last for one, uh, one half hour. The only language used to communicate is English. And then all the participants are suggested to take notes during the presentation. All participants must turn off the audio uh, during the presentation. The presentation will be held uh, in five until seven minutes for each presenter. And then uh, the Q&A session will come after the whole presentation. Uh, question and answer can be typed on the chat box since the early of presentation. Anyone uh, that interested in talking directly in the present, uh, to the presenters is please raise your hand. We will facilitate you if you still have the time. And then the last is if you could uh, not get your answer, the presenters will send the answer Okay, I'd like to emphasize, if you have any question regarding the topic today, so you can easily type uh, your question in the chat box. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, our speakers today is students from English Education Department, Siliwang University. There are eight outstanding speakers here. They are Ipani Indriani, Novi Febrianti, Istiani, Isti, you, sorry, Isti Yudistiani Aripa, Ade Muhammad Faizal, Evi Khofi Fahasan, Muhammad Atar Zakian, Mario Sumawinata, and the last Tarisa Nursofa Marun. Before the presentation begins, let me inform you how the presentation will be going on. First, there will be a presentation, and after that, there will be a question and answer, followed uh, by the conclusion. Now, allow me to welcome the first speaker. Here we have Ipani Indriani that would like to deliver his presentation regarding how do social media affect English reading skills. For Ipani, the time is yours. All right, thanks to the moderator for hosting this meeting today. Ladies and gentlemen, I will continue as a speaker in this session. Let me introduce myself. My name is Ipani Indriani and I'm of uh, Siliwangi and I'm a student of Siliwangi University. <clears throat> All right, in this talk, I will discuss a topic with the title, How do social media affect English reading skills? Uh, next slide. Okay, I divided my presentation into four key points. Let's see, there is uh, first, what is reading, the importance of reading activities. The second, the role of social media <clears throat> to improve reading skills. Third, the bad effect of using social media for reading activities. And the last conclusion. Before we start, uh, can I ask something to everyone here? Do you like uh, reading? <clears throat> All right, thanks for the response. Of course, reading can use a variety of media such as novel, uh, stories, newspaper, or some information on the internet. All information we got through by uh, reading activities. All right, uh, next slide. So we have to know what is the definition of reading first. So what is reading? According to Tarigan 19, According to Tarikan 1990, page 7 in Journal 2010, argues that reading is a process that is carried and used by readers who want to get the message delivered by the author through the medium of words or written language. <clears throat> it's mean reading is a process of looking at the series of written symbols and getting meaning uh, from them. When we read, we 
we use our eyes to receive written symbols such as letters, punctuation mark, and <clears throat> punctuation mark and space. And we use our brain to convert uh, uh, them into words, uh, sentences, and paragraphs that communicate something to us. Reading can be silent in our head, but uh, reading can be overloaded so that people can hear. Okay, reading has been benefit for everyone. There is some the advantages of reading include uh, increasing self-development, being able to meet intellect de intellectual demands, increasing interest in the field, and being able to see another world. Reading does not only uh, an impact on the uh, intellectual field, but reading can also have an impact in, on, on the health. Some of the advantages of reading in the health sector that are uh, drain the brain, relieve stress, keep the risk of Alzheimer's disease away, develop healthy sleep patterns, and increase concentration. All right, next slide. <clears throat> Okay, thank you. From the data of hot suites and social research, there is 274.9 million Indonesian that report not that there were 170 million social media users. This figure increased by 10 million people or 6.3% from last year. We can see that technological development in this era of globalization are increasing, but in the form of uh, software and hardware. Social media that is developing among the community is also increasingly uh, favored with all the confidence it offers. Some example of social media that are becoming a trend uh, among teenagers today, there is some application that is WhatsApp, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Line, uh, Wattpad, and many more. <clears throat> all right, that's uh, the application I think all of you uh, use in daily life. Okay, next slide. <clears throat> Okay, thank you. As we know, the reading uh, has many benefits that we can get when uh, using social media that we use in this era. However, behind this benefit, there are definitely some uh, negative impact from using social media. The first can make user addicted, especially teenagers. The habit of accessing social media, of course, will make teenagers lazy to do uh, reading a book. <clears throat> and the second, reading interest uh, in the books decreases. And the last, Reading culture is negatively affected by social media, which provides uh, less relevant or useless uh, information. <clears throat> All right, next slide. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, we have in the last session in this talk, it is a conclusion. There is there are so many media that we can easily and get uh, find for our means to read. For example, newspaper, magazine, poster, and others. It will be continue along the time. The development of information technology can make it easier for humans to have activities to see news and look for various information circulating in cyber space. Starting for any news that we might be able to see on social media, there's a lot of information circulating that is useful for us to be able to maximize all activities that exist today. We also need to know that with technology, all activities can run easily and practically, <clears throat> so that it helps a lot for our future activities. That's right. Okay, <clears throat> next slide. Okay, this is the references uh, that I choose. Uh, I think that's enough to that presentation that I have delivered today. Sorry if there are any mistakes. Uh, lastly, wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I give it back to moderator. Thank you. Okay. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you, Pani, for your nice presentation regarding uh, how social media affect on our reading skill. And yeah, I agree with you that uh, there are so many ways uh, to improve our English, uh, especially uh, we can use our daily consume, uh, that is social media, to improve our English. And then the next presenter, we have uh, Nofi that would like to present uh, another daily consume, uh, especially for the readers, that is Pet Pet. Uh, here, Nofi would like to present regarding the magic of reading Pet Pet to improve student writing skills. For Nofi, the time is yours. All right, thank you for the moderator for hosting me. Uh, good morning, everyone, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for attending this session. My name is Novi Fabianti. I'd like to bring a topic about the magic of reading what path to improve student writing skills. 
everyone, have you ever heard about welfare? Is it familiar to you? According to Al Falak et al. 2021, Wattpad is one of the biggest literacy platforms in the world who provide the service for the writer to sell their work and the reader to enjoy their work. There are so many genres and also work based on our own category in the Wattpad, like romance, history, horror, science, and much more. Wattpad provides the feature to create story as well as give the feedback. Wattpad was created in 2006 by Ivan Yuen and Alan Lau in Canada. Next slide, please. Reading and writing is a part of language skill, but I will focus in reading and writing skill. Uh, Chirat, 2009, stated that reading is one of the most crucial skills in educational setting. Meanwhile, Chaser and Study, 2001, argue that writing skill is the ability to write something in a productive way is an indicator of success during the learning process. Or we can call that writing is writing skill are the specific ability which helps to writer put their thought in the word in a meaningful form to mentally interact with the message. The magic of reading webpad to improve student writing skill. How can webpad as an application who provide reading and writing online can improve student writing skill? Writing skill, which is the most challenging skill for student and teacher. Writing is a very complex process because we are required to express all our opinion, idea, building knowledge in the form of paragraph. Writing also a complicated process because we need to do research and review to make sure that our writing is the truth and can be counted for. Reading is a semantic mental action which in form of, is absorbed and conveyed to the brain by A or thought sense, where it is then turned into the meaning. Writing skills are usually associated with reading skills. What pet over many possibilities for enriching reading and writing skills? Ramdan Shambo, 2018, found it that uh, it's a really digital environment, feedback, and experimental environment for you and even experienced writer. Wattpad provides great opportunities for making learning and writing more effective for everyone with different needs. For example, students can learn at their own speed, review difficult skip concepts ahead if they need to. In many studies conducted, experts explain that the role of Wattpad is very crucial in improving student writing skills. Students often have difficult and feel afraid to write, but with Wattpad, Student motivation and ability to write have been proven to increase. Reading Wattpad with various genres of story and language has been proven to help students in developing their writing skill. To Wattpad, they can read novel and see the writing technique for good writing preference. In addition, Wattpad also provides facilities that allow students to publish their writing on the platform, which will then receive the feedback in the form of comment related to their writing so that they can improve it. Reading is an effective activity to improve student writing skill. Reading allows students to see many work with different writing format. Reading also interested in insight and knowledge so that they can study, study and practice to improve their writing skill based on their reading result. The various reading available on WebPad can be chosen by students to their interest to increase the reading motivation and increase the knowledge they get. Next slide, please. Here, there is a novel entitled Ten Reason Not to Die. One of the novel that can be used as a reference to improve student writing skill because uh, the novel has a good writing format with uh, language that is easily to understood by students. Besides that, student also can see read work on the platform Belia Bentang, which is combined account of many webpad authors who present novel of good quality and very suitable for student reading reference. The magic of reading webpad to improve student writing skill is proven by increasing student motivation and writing ability after they read webpad. It is a miracle where we know that the interest and ability of students in writing are quite low, but to webpad, Students are proven to be more enthusiastic to learn and effective in improving their writing skill. Next slide, please. 
So the conclusion of my presentation is, I think it's a difficult skill to master, but nothing is impossible as long as we want to learn. But through technological development, what that is sure to be a miracle of in overcoming this problem. With WebPad providing so many books that can be accessed and become a source of reference for students in improving writing skills. There is a quote uh, by John Fields. He told that technology makes things faster and more cost effective, but it's not perfect. It requires you to be flexible as you can. Next slide, please. And there is a reference that I use. Uh, that's all from me. Thank you for your kind attention. I give back to the moderator. Okay, thank you, Novi, for your interesting presentation uh, regarding WebPad uh, to improve our uh, writing skills. And yeah, uh, writing is a little bit hard to be mastered, but if we have any willingness or uh, we creatively use WebPad uh, or any other media to improve uh, our English skill, uh, it could be possible. And the next presenter would like to present uh, regarding vocabulary. Here, uh, ISTI has uh, hacks uh, to keep the vocabulary. Uh, ISTI would like to present regarding uh, memory hacks to keep vocabulary with repetition. For ISTI, the time is yours. All right. <clears throat> Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone, good morning. First of all, I want to say thank you to the moderator for hosting this meeting and also distinguished ladies and gentlemen, thank you for attending this webinar. Before I start, let me introduce myself. My name is Istiyudistiani Aripa and here I would like to bring a topic about memory hacks to keep vocabulary with repetition. After seeing the title that I'm about to share, you may be wondering, what is mean by keep vocabulary? And what is meant by keep vocabulary with repetition? All right, everyone, let's find the answer together. But before I start this presentation, I will divide my presentation into three sections. Next slide, please. Okay, the first one is the importance of vocabulary in language learning. The second one is the reason why we should keep vocabulary. And the last, how repetition can help keep vocabulary. Next slide, please. Thank you. Now we start by looking the importance of vocabulary in language learning. According to al Kohtani in 2015, vocabulary learning is an essential part of foreign uh, language learning as the meaning of new words are very often emphasized whether in books or in classroom. It is also central to language teaching and is of paramount importance to language learners. Gupta and McWhinney 1997 also state that vocabulary mastery and knowledge are important components of language competence. As we can understand from the statement of al Kohtani, Gupta, and McQueenie, that vocabulary is indeed very important in language learning. Taking a quote from Wang Ru 2016, vocabulary is an indispensable part of language and it is of a vital importance for second language learners. Vocabulary is the smallest unit of a language which of course will uh, greet a pack, a series of words to be contained. This is one of the reasons why we should keep vocabulary. Next slide. Okay, uh, what is the reason why we should keep vocabulary? Keeping vocabulary is one, uh, one way for our communication can run smoothly. According to Kupai Sinopna 2021, Having a wider vocabulary bank makes speech smoother and easier to understand. Wang Ru 2016 states that student vocabulary can affect the development of personal linguistic competence. The more vocabulary students have, the better. Talking about vocabulary mastery or well, uh, what, we call keep, uh, what we call keeping vocabulary is very necessary. We can be said to master a language if we do have a broad knowledge of vocabulary. Many people want to be able to speak the language they are learning quickly, but they only focus on grammar. However, uh, mastering a lot of vocabulary is one uh, of the facilities for contrasting sentences and speaking fluently. So in addition to learning grammar, we also have to start keeping new vocabulary. Next slide, please.
Okay, there are various ways that can be done to keep vocabulary, one of which is repetition. How repetition can help keep vocabulary? Nagi, Herman, and Anderson's 1985 seminal study on learning vocabulary to context indicate that words are gradually learned to repeated encounters in the context. The context here is a situation really bound to the vocabulary you want to remember. For example, we use uh, the vocabulary we just learned by continuing to use it in everyday situation. Beside that, vocabulary knowledge may be gained each time word are encountered during reading or listening and to multiple encounters, they may eventually become known. By using repetition, knowledge of vocabulary will be stored in the brain naturally without us realizing it. Repeated encounters with the same vocabulary help us to know the meaning and proper use of the vocabulary. According to Bahrik, 1984, and Jenny Wojcicki, Noel, and Sawyer, 2003. When vocabulary is learned explicitly, space space learning is consistently superior to math uh, learning. Learning methods that keep repeating are considered more effective than just memorizing, uh, memorizing, and then being forgotten. So the result of research. Uh, conducted by Wang Ru 2016, students trust repetition more as a strategy for increasing the vocabulary of a language. Next slide. All right, it doesn't feel like we are uh, at the end of the materials now. As we have understood from the previous explanation that vocabulary is very important in language learning. Vocabulary is very essential thing that greatly influence our language learning process. We also need to master vocabulary or what uh, we call key vocabulary so that our communication can run smoothly. And one way to keep vocabulary is repetition. By using repetition, we will unconsciously master and understand the meaning and the use of vocabulary. Let's end uh, with Jake Canfield quote. It is, repetition is the key to real learning. And for the next slide, please. Yeah, this is my references. So thank you for your attention. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I return it to the moderator. Thank you. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you, uh, Isti, for your interesting presentation uh, regarding how repetition could affect on our memory, uh, on our memory hack, uh, especially to keep our vocabulary. And yeah, vocabulary is uh, the essential things in communication because uh, if we mastering so many vocabulary, we could uh, communicate easily and run smoothly. Yeah, uh, we, the next presenter we have uh, Isa that would like uh, to present uh, the similar thing that is the words, a word uh, similar to vocabulary. And here, uh, Adam Muhammad Faisal uh, would like to present regarding the let the words, sorry, let the words flow into you. For Adi Muhammad Faisal, the times is yours. All right, thank you, host. I, I appreciate the interventions and hello, everyone. My thanks to all of you for coming here today. It's a great to be speaking with all of you. And for those of you who don't know me already, my name is Adi Muhammad Faisal, and I'm here will help you how to gain more words in learning vocabulary. My talk is relevant to those of you who want to start to learning vocabulary. So this is the way for the beginner to learning vocabulary. And anyway, I have divided my presentation into three main parts. Next slide, please. Okay, so those are vocabulary learning, vocabulary natural learning, and the third is passive vocabulary. I'll, I will start off by asking you, uh, next slide, please. Okay, what do you know about vocabulary learning? As we know that the important thing in vocabulary is a quiet word. The purpose of a quiet word is to understand what other people say to us or around us. A quiet word can also function to make us uh, understand how to use those words or we can save the word in our head. For example, like we got, we've got some words in some context of a meaning, then we use them to communicate and when we are in conversations, uh, we need to understand what, what people say around us to avoid the misinformation and so on. So in addition, according to learning English, 
Learning vocabulary will help you to improve your language level and communicate in English confidently and effectively. And do you know that if we want to learn vocabulary, we, we used to advise to learn three words a day, right? But it has drawbacks. The first is linking. Not too many words we can on that day because it just limit three. Uh, no more than that we learned. And the second, we're not gonna remember it because every day we will focus on those three days and the next day we change the word and we have to focus on another word. And after uh, several days, several weeks, several months or years, I still remember what did you learn in the first day? So what is the another way to learn vocabulary besides learning three words a day and maybe being able to get uh, a lot of words than that? Next slide, please. So the answer is let the words flow in here. That's right. We, uh, we uh, not coming for the words, but words coming for us. Uh, we learned our quiet words uh, incidentally or in naturally way, according to McDermott here. Natural learning means that we don't put ourselves to learn things before we are definitely ready. So we shouldn't be forced to learn three words a day, right? We learn as if we were not studying. We'll enjoy it. Uh, for example, like if you like that song, then you listen to every day, uh, every time, and then sometimes you will conduct in karaoke and then you see the lyrics, you will read the lyrics and then uh, those lyrics incidentally will will save to our head, to your head, and probably will learn more than three words a day. Okay, if we only acquire a word, how can we manage these words, manage these words? Because knowing words is based on the context. We need different contexts to see the different meanings of a word. And the trick is on the next slide, please. The trick is use passive vocabulary. This passive vocabulary makes us decide whether the word is known or not. A word is known if we can recognize that word at least one context. But if, but if we don't know that word, uh, uh, the meaning of a word from another context, then we decide that we don't know the word. So this passive vocabulary is understanding a word at least one context. Okay. Uh, let teaching English data that uh, learners passive vocabulary is the words that they understand but don't use yet. So we know that word, but those words are not used, those are stored. I have example related to natural learning and passive vocabulary. When we're reading a novel, we will gain more familiarity with the language because it's repeated words. When we read again and again without purpose to learn, we will enjoy it. And incidentally, our brain will notice that the word we read in the context has a meaning. So when you get a lot of context from that word we read, we'll be able to active our passive vocabulary to interact and communicate with other people. And Kaufman ever said that if the goal is to be able to participate comfortably in conversations or to understand what other people are saying around you in the workplace, then you have to focus on your passive vocabulary. And for the conclusions that learning vocabulary naturally will make it easier for you to know uh, or understand many, word, many words in even in short time, but not all the meanings in various contexts can be understood. And this also relates to the passive vocabulary, which means knowing what at least one context, okay? And the word is not being used yet. Use passive vocabulary when you have built up the basic meaning of a word. Speak more, break this, and then uh, active your words to, uh, you know, to participate in conversation, maybe with your business partner or your friends and so on. So don't forget, let the words flow into you. Here's my references on the next slide. Okay, and thank you for attention. Have you understood? I'll give it back to my director. Okay, thank you, Zell, for presenting how the words uh, flow into you. And yeah, uh, when we learning a word or uh, when, when, we, when we acquire uh, any word, uh, we, we just flow into it and because of uh, some of words maybe uh, could be a passive vocabulary that we know or what is the meaning but uh, do not uh, use yet on that time. And next we have Effie uh, that would like to present regarding using YouTube to be a good listener in learning English. For Effie, Hofi Pahasan, the time is yours. 
All right. Thank you, moderator. Okay, and thank you for all of you for attending this session. Uh, first of all, my name is Epi Hofi Fahasan, and in today's presentation, I'd like to talk about using YouTube to be a good listener in learning English. But before that, I want to ask you, have you ever been able to understand the written English but had difficulty understanding people speaking? Okay. Uh, yeah, this often happens to English learners, uh, especially those who were born and grew up in, in, uh, in non-English countries. And from the many cases that I found and experienced, English teachers teach their students more through writing, so the student lack a figure of how, uh, of how English works in reality. Uh, next slide. Okay, from the article written by Ross, he said that listening is very important in language learning because it provides input for learners and it has also an important role in the development of learners' language knowledge. This is also supported by Edmund's opinion that listening is the foundation to getting primary contact with the target language. So you can imagine the importance of listening skills to master a language. But luckily, uh, we live in a modern era and filled with technology. There are uh, lots of applications that provide by technology, and one of them is, next slide, YouTube. Okay, YouTube uh, is a very, uh, YouTube is an application that provides a variety of video information from around the world. And I think almost everyone knows and uses YouTube. And from the result of research conducted by Fralinger and Owens, they revealed that YouTube media can improve student listening comprehension result. And YouTube had a significant positive effect on perceived student learning. So how to use YouTube to increase listening skills to be a good listener? Okay, I have some I, I have some tips. The first tips is uh, the video type. Start with the easiest, then, to, uh, then, go, then go to the hardest. Uh, Nurjana in her article stated that many people learn something but don't get anything because they go straight to the highest level without understanding the previous level. So when we learn English through YouTube, we have to adjust the video type and our language level. We can start with the short video like a conversation cut in the films and short video uh, like for status. And then we can uh, level up uh, to medium uh, like short movies, vlogs or video tutorials. And then continue to the last level or the long video such as films, uh, whether documentaries, cartoons, romance and others. And the most important thing about type of the video is the content, because the content you watch must be of interest to you. You will continue to be motivated to watch a video on YouTube to learn English if the content is interesting. Okay, and my uh, and from my experience when I'm learning English through YouTube, uh, I really like watching documentary videos such as uh, someone's life story or a story about a case, and there are to YouTube account that I often watch, they are born different by true account, and then real story, uh, and then real story account. So when I watch uh, this video, I'm always motivated to watch them because I'm curious about the content presented in the video. Okay, the next tips is set the video speed. Uh, sometimes you are interested in watching something or teacher give an assignment to watch a video, but you can catch what the speaker is saying in the video. Instead of using subtitles, it's better to lower uh, the video speed. As uh, the result of uh, by Hayati and Mohamedi, they said that students who are accustomed to watching with uh, subtitles uh, while practicing listening to English film, then uh, watching without subtitles uh, will find difficulty and their ears need to adjust to spoken English. So this show that by using a subtitle, our listening skills uh, will not increase. Uh, and in YouTube, uh, the app uh, provides a feature that can be used to readjust or speed up the video. You can set it from the slowest and then level up to the middle. And finally, the normal. And if you feel the normal is too slow, uh, you can speed it up. 
Okay, and then the last, uh, the last tips is take a note. Statistical analysis of the test data indicate that taking notes uh, while listening positively affect the learner's listening comprehension level. Uh, but remember, you don't have to take a note all of the conversation in the video. Write down uh, the words that you hear clearly, but you don't know uh, the meaning or the words that you uh, cannot decide it whether uh, right or not. And when the video is done, you can watch it again and check it. Okay, uh, I want to share. Uh, I want to share my ex, uh, my experience again. Uh, I'm a student uh, in English education, and there is one subject, uh, namely academic listening and speaking. My lecturer in that subject assigned me and my friends to always uh, take notes from the video uh, she gave or uh, we watch. And I admit uh, it greatly improved my listening skills. So. I really recommend you to take notes when studying so that something you hear doesn't just pass and disappear. Okay, that's all the tips that uh, you can use to improve uh, your listening skills through YouTube. Okay, next slide. Yeah, and again, you have to remember that listening skills is important. The more we listen, the more we know. And you can improve your listening skills to become a good listener using, uh, using YouTube. Uh, when you're studying uh, using YouTube, you can choose the video type and then set the video speed and then take notes. And finally, we are at the end of this presentation. But before we close this presentation, I want to tell you the word that I remember very well. There is no magic way to master something. If you really want to master something, you have to go to really deep level with that subject day after day, year after year. So keep the spirit to keep learning. Okay, next slide. Next slide. Okay, this is the reference that I used to my presentation. Thank you very much. Uh, back to the moderator. Okay, thank you, Evie. Okay, thank you, Evie, for bringing the ordinary media, that is YouTube, into the extraordinary presentation uh, to improve our listening skills. And yeah, uh, I agree with uh, that sentence that quote uh, there is no magic way uh, to achieve something that is uh, step by step from deep level into the highest level okay uh, uh, before that i would like to remind you if you have any question regarding top the topics today you could easily type on the chat box okay the next presenter we have atar that would like to present the similar media with fe uh, in format video uh, that is film media Atar would like to uh, present regarding improving the student vocabulary by using VLM media. For Muhammad Atar Zakian, the time is yours. All right. Thank you for the moderator for opportunities. Hello, everyone. How are you today? I hope all of you is good. Let me introduce myself. My name is Muhammad Atar Zakian Tintara. My student's number is 2122104. See, nowadays, many, pe many people fill their spare time by watching movies for hours. But most of them only use it mediums of entertainment. And actually, there are many benefits can be taken, such as increasing vocabulary. Therefore, I investigate the title Improving the Student Vocabulary by Using Film Media. Next slide, please. For the first material, why is vocabulary important? By understanding vocabulary, it will be easier to, for someone to say something in foreign language. In learning English, vocabulary has important role in building language skill. And mastery of vocabulary aims to make students have good language in English skills. The more vocabulary that is mastered, the easier it will be to understand when other people 
communicate using English. Next slide, please. Okay, for the second material is what is films? According to Harvey, film means a series of moving images recorded with sound that tell a story when is sound in a cinema or film. Learning English, especially by learning vocabulary, because basically vocabulary has an important role. After all, without learning vocabulary, we will never understand what other people are saying. Language has several elements such as grammar and vocabulary. So the process of learning English doesn't have go to through a manual dictionary. Even with the rapid development of the times, the process of learning vocabulary can be easily done through English films with subtitles. Such as the experts say, in learning English, films can help problem variables such as lack of understanding, limited vocabulary, slow reading, poor grammar, and low level conversational skills. English films are a tool learn new vocabulary in the classroom. Then using English films will make listen for more fun for students and students will be find easier to master vocabulary and improve it. Next slide, please. Okay, in the last material, I will give all friends in this webinar tips and tricks. Movies, watching movies can improve English language skill. As stated by Hermer, that there are several positive reasons to learn English by watching movies, such as movies have a certain value that is interesting teaching actually helps understand how to pronounce. And for the tips and tricks, for the first tips is choose your choose the general films that you like and suit your level of English. For beginners, you can try watching film produced by Pixar, such as Toy Story, Finding Nemo, Frozen and other. And the second, using English subtitle. While watching, don't translate subtitle word by word, but try to check the guess or main idea for the sentence. When you come across a phrase don't understand, write it down on a piece of paper and only look for its meaning after the film is over. And the third step is repeat the favorite part or of scenes. Well, when repeating it, try to say the dialogue that is said to practice your pronunciation. All right, friend. Maybe that's all from me. For the conclusion is the more words you understand, the more language you can understand. Okay, that's all for me. Don't forget to practice everywhere. Thank you very much. I'm Attar. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I give it back to the moderator.
Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you Atar for uh, presenting uh, the material uh, of uh, how how using film media to improve our vocabulary. Uh, let me uh, let me repeat the phrase. Uh, you could uh, easily choose your, your favorite genre of film uh, at, at, that's suitable with your level of English, and then uh, using the English subtitle to to know or to catch uh, what is the meaning of the film, but in English way, uh, and then repeating the favorite part or favorite scenes of that movie or that film. Okay, thank you. And the next we have. Mario, that would like to present regarding the application. What's the application to enhance our vocabulary? Here's Mario would like to present regarding the vocabulary builder, an application to enhance our vocabulary for young learners. For Mario Sumawinata, the time is yours. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, thank you, moderator, for hosting the meeting today. And before we start, uh, let me introduce myself. My name is uh, Mario Sumulinata from Siliwangi University. And thank you, everyone, for attending this webinar. And today, I would like to deliver a topic, Vocabulary Builder of Vocabulary Learning Application for Young Learners. Next slide, please. And here's the key point that I will bring today. The first is, what is vocabulary? And then the second is, improving vocabulary using apps vocabulary builder by Megas. And then the third is, how to download the apps? And the last is, conclusion. And the first is, I want to remind all of you about the definition of vocabulary. Okay, the vocabulary is a set of familiar words that a person knows. Usually developed with age, vocabulary is a useful and essential tool that helps children and adults to communicate and expand their knowledge. Okay, next slide please. And the second topic is improving vocabulary using apps vocabulary builder by Megas. Okay, uh, what is this application? This application is vocabulary builder by Megas, and then this app offers quizzes as means to enrich language vocabulary. And you will be choose a word that has the same meaning from first choice. For example, the word fugal has the same meaning as a void waste. The amount of vocabulary you can learn in one quiz varies depending on the level. And then if you are an English learner fan of apps with clear interface, Megas Vocabulary Builder is definitely going to impress you. Everything is smooth and you will be enjoy the experience learning. The app has various lists for various entrance tests. Okay, the next slide please. Okay, the third topic is how to download these apps and where can I download these apps? And if you are a user Android phone, you can go to the Play Store. And if, if you are a user iOS phone, you can go to the App Store. And then after that, you can click search bar and type vocabulary builder and then click vocabulary builder apps. Next slide, please. And then after that, you can click install and wait the install done. And after install done, you can open the apps and ready to use. And for the first time you open the apps, you will be see the three options. The first is general words, and the second is high school words, and the third is English learners words. Okay, next slide, please. Okay, the last is the conclusion. The conclusion is this apps is a good choice for you if you are a fan of apps clean interface because these apps is easy to operate and can help you to enhance your vocabulary. Okay, next slide please. And here's the references. And thank you everyone for 
tension and I'm sorry for any mistake. I'll get an it to the Makata. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you, Mario, for your clear presentation uh, regarding the application. Uh, there, is a, there is an interesting application, I think, uh, especially for the young learners, uh, because uh, the, the application has a simple user interface to do. Yeah, uh, we come to the last uh, presenter. We have Tarisa here that would like to sum up uh, our presentation today. Uh, Tarisa would like to present regarding five daily practices to boost your English speaking skills. For Tarisa Nursofa Marwa, the time is yours. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone. First of all, uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your attending this session. Uh, my name is Karisa Nusata Marwa. The topic of my presentation today is five daily practices to boost your English speaking skills. Next slide, please. So I divide my presentation into three major parts, which are the definition of speaking, the component of speaking skills, and then the five daily practices to boost your English speaking skills. So without any pardon do, let's get started. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, as we know that today everyone wants to be able to boost their English speaking skills. Uh, however, they are confused about how to boost their English speaking skills. So now let's find out the Let's find out the definition of speaking. Uh, Brown 1994 and Bruce and Joyce 1997 said that uh, speaking as a reactive process of structure meaning that include receiving and producing and sharing information. So uh, it can be understood that uh, speaking is someone's ability to deliver a meaningful message, express idea, or to say what someone feels and think about something early. Next slide, please. All right, everyone, now let's talk about the component of speaking skills. As we know that it is a common desire for all of, for all of us to speak English well. So you need to know what, what the important in speaking skills you need to be developed. So according to uh, Harry, 1974, there are five components of speaking skills. Uh, the first component is vocabulary. Of course, you need to learn vocabulary because the more interesting what you know, the stronger your speaking skill will be. And then the second is grammar. Grammar is an important component because uh, when you have mastered the major, the major tense, uh, the fewer mistakes you make, so the better your speaking skill will be. And then the third component is pronunciation. Uh, pronunciation is a complex area with many sub skills that can be practiced, but, but by learning pronunciation, uh, the speaker can speak and his speech can be understood. And then the fourth is fluency. Uh, fluency is about showing a clear connection between each point that you are saying. Uh, the skills mean that the listener can follow what you are saying. And then the last component is comprehension. Uh, Comprehension is also certainly very important for oral communication, so this is also need to be developed. All right, next slide, please. All right, ladies and gentlemen, after we know about the component of speaking skills, let's find out the five daily practices to boost your English speaking skills. Uh, according to Lassie, 2019, state that there are five daily practices to boost your English speaking skills. The first is listening to audio or video. As AJ Ho 2012 said that we need to be listening at least one shower per day if we want to speak English well. So what should you listen to? There are many resources about uh, you can listen for free. You can start by listening to short English video from YouTube, uh, from favorite TV show, movie, podcast, music, and so on. And then the second is think and talk in English. Uh, try to use English when you are thinking about your day. After you think about what you will say in English, you can talk to your partner or just talk to yourself about what you have done or what you will do. And then the third practice is uh, to set a daily word goal. 
uh, learn an unlimited number of words every single day. You have to learn at least one new word every day. After that, uh, write word in your notebook so you can see in your notebook if you forget. And then the fourth is uh, to write a daily journal. For example, every day you learn new word, then you write three or four sentences about today, and then before going to bed, uh, try to recall the word and sentences that you have been made. And then the last practice is make daily translation. Try to make a translating with the topic that you like. You can practice by watching video on YouTube. After that, try to rewrite that. Uh, what they say in the video with your own word. Next slide, please. All right, ladies and gentlemen, in a conclusion, uh, now we can conclude that uh, the speaking, is, speaking is the ability to share the meaning, feeling, message, and expression. And then uh, many people want to boost their English speaking. So the solution is doing practices, practices, and practice, because practice makes perfect. Next slide, please. So these are the references that I use in this presentation. All right, everyone. Now we are in the last session of my presentation. Thank you very much for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I give it back to moderator. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you, Tarisa, for uh, presenting uh, what is the five, uh, five ways to improve our English. Uh, let me uh, repeat the takeaways that I got from your presentation. The first one is listening to audio and the video. Uh, yeah, as the previous presenter uh, present regarding any media like YouTube, film, and so on, and any other media, uh, we could uh, use this uh, way that is listening to audio and video, and then think uh, and talk in English. Uh, we think something in English, and we could. Uh, talk with someone or with friend in English, and then to set our daily goals. And because we, uh, if we set uh, the goals, uh, we could uh, easily uh, to achieve what is the uh, target of this of today uh, vocabulary. And then writing a journal, writing a journal made uh, us to uh, more, uh, more know about ourselves, uh, how far uh, our English, how, how far our English is and how, uh, how much the vocabulary that we acquire that we know uh, to, yeah, to, to use to communicate. And then lastly, uh, make a daily translation. Yeah, making daily translation, uh, um, we could uh, make like a translation from the uh, video or uh, any film that we watch uh, in that day, okay? Thank you very much for all the speakers today for giving us such informative and interesting presentation. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we come to the question and answer session. Uh, I'd like to have uh, three questions first uh, from the participant. Well, there are so many uh, questions here, uh, but I would like to choose uh, three first for that. Okay, I'd like to read the first question. Yeah, we have a question from Hilda and Shifa. Uh, let me read. Hello, I have a question. Or oh, this question addressing for Effie. Hello, I have, I have a question for Effie. Uh, do you have any recommendation for YouTube videos uh, to improve listening skill for intermediate students? Thank you. Maybe Effie, uh, you could easily uh, unmute your microphone to answer that all right okay uh, thank you uh, uh, Hilda for asking uh, any recommendation video for intermediate uh, I think uh, okay there are uh, many videos on YouTube uh, that we can use to in, uh, to increase our listening skill for intermediate. Like I said before uh, in my presentation, uh, I uh, I got to account that I use the I often use to increase my my uh, my listening skill. It's truly an true story. Uh, I think it's for intermediate because. 
uh, intermediate uh, already have a lot of Sorry, Evi, you have a connection problem. Okay, maybe uh, Evi has a connection problem. There. We can we can hold uh, the answer first. Uh, okay, uh, we come to. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh yeah. Okay. I'm sorry, I have a trouble with my connection. Okay, okay, it's okay. Okay, I will repeat. Uh, okay. uh, any recommendation? Uh, thank you for asking, Sipa. Uh, I think there are uh, lots of uh, video in YouTube to increase our listening skill for intermediate. Uh, like I said before in my presentation, uh, I have to, to account that I often use to increase my uh, my listening skill, it's truly a uh, true story. Uh, I think uh, it is for intermediate because uh, the, uh, I think the intermediate uh, uh, already have a lot of vocabulary and they can understand English. So the con that I mentioned uh, earlier, uh, it is uh, can use to uh, intermediate. Thank you. Okay. Oh yeah, thank you. There is uh, a good answer. Uh, maybe Hilda, uh, is that uh, enough for your question? Or maybe if you have uh, more question uh, to Effie, maybe you could uh, easily uh, communicate with Effie. And the next, uh, the next question. Oh my God, there is so many questions here. Uh, be, be that, uh, uh, we would like to thank you to uh, we would like to thank you to Bumel uh, to Bumelisa that uh, has uh, joining our presentation today. Ah, uh, yeah. And then uh, we have uh, the, the next question uh, from Rais. I have a question for no for Mario. Okay, is addressing for Mario. Uh, what is uh, what are the pros and cons uh, of using Megosh to learn vocabulary skills? Okay, for Mario, you could easily uh, unmute your microphone. Okay, uh, thank you, Rais, for the question. And for the pros and cons, this application, the pros is this app is free, and the cons is this apps is have a repetition and max board. Because like I said before, in this application, you just you will be choose a word that has the same meaning from five choice. And that's a max word. Uh, okay, and that's the answer. Thank you. There is a simple answer, okay. Uh, yeah, uh, is that uh, satisfied for the answer? Okay, that is uh, time's up. Yeah, that, is, that means uh, that he's satisfied for the answer. Okay, uh, the next question we have a question addressing to Ade, eh, sorry, uh, Faisal. Uh, when learning a language, uh, should we focus more on developing an, abil an, an ability, sorry, an ability to speak or on building up our understanding of language? Maybe uh, Faisal, you could easily. And my unmute your microphone. Okay. Okay. Uh, thanks for the great questions here. We got from Fabi. I have ever heard from Steve Kaufman that there are people who read very well and cannot speak well, but who read well and understand uh, when listening or eventually going uh, to be able to speak well. Listening here is to understand what other people say to us or around us. It relate to my example on the purpose material. Uh, maybe on the first main part about the quiet words. Okay. So the people who read who read uh, well and listening well uh, will going to be able to will going to be able to speak well. If they don't speak well yet, it's because they haven't spoken enough. 
But if they, if they decide uh, to go and speak with understanding the language based on the passive vocabulary, they will be very quickly become good active user of the language and try to build uh, our passive vocabulary by adding listening, reading, and even practice to speak more. Eventually, uh, we will converting the words from passive to active. And I have uh, one example here. After reading captions from Instagram feeds and adding 10 words into your passive vocabulary, then you try to listen to the, to podcasts, to different podcasts or movies, to watch movies, especially uh, those that have conversations among two people or more. You will notice that when, when the conversations are funny and make you laugh, uh, those words they said is the word that you have already learned from your Instagram feed and tend to glue themselves more, more to your brain and you can recall them back to conversations. And also you can add uh, uh, to the vocabulary to your speaking. I hope uh, my answer is can be understood. Thank you very much. Thank you for the answer, uh, Ade. There is a detailed answer with the example example of uh, of uh, your statement. Uh, is that Fabi? Uh, Fabi is that uh, satisfied for your question? I hope you satisfied. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for the answer. Okay. Okay. Yes. There are still a lot of a lot of questions here. Uh, maybe I'd like to. I'd like to read again uh, because we have have uh, we we still have more time. And here uh, we have a question from Dini Novianti uh, addressing to Atar. Assalamualaikum. I have a question. Assalamualaikum. I have a question for Atar. Uh, why do you say uh, we can watch Pixar's movie or in uh, or in other words? Uh, cartoon or animation as a beginner uh, beginner level in learning English. I thought maybe you could easily uh, unmute your microphone. Okay. Thank you for me for asking. I chose Pixar because I think Pixar I have is what is it? Sorry, I'm not I think Pixar uh, have easily to can can understand the language is easy to kind of understand because the subtitle it's so clear. Pixar film have easy word selection and the way speak is also not so bad not so fast and easy to understand the subtitle clear enough to be an easy to understand for beginners this all can understand very okay Okay, uh, yeah, that, that is a simple answer from Atar. Maybe I'd like to add some answer. Uh, yeah, because uh, maybe uh, Pixar's movie is simple to understand and uh, has a simple conversation on it. So that uh, we could uh, using the Pixar's movie to the beginner level. Okay, here we have a question for from Herma, Hermawati, I have a question addressing for Novi. Okay. I have a question for Novi. My question is, why do you prefer the theme about the benefits of reading my method in improving writing skill compared uh, to the theme about the benefits of uh, wet in improving student reading comprehension? Okay, maybe Novi, you could answer that. Uh, all right, thank you for your great question. Now, please allow me to answer this question. Uh, why do I prefer the theme of uh, the benefit of reading web to improve writing skill 
to the benefit of reading web fact in improving student comprehension. Uh, the reason is because in this presentation, I want to show the relationship between language skill related to each other. I want to show that reading is not also related to reading, but also uh, with another language skill. In this session, I show the relationship between reading and writing, which turn out to be related to each other. Reading and writing are related to each other and benefit each other, as stated by Waibara et al. 2003, that uh, the four main skills in language teaching complement each other and affect each other uh, positively in language acquisition process contribute to the development and increase student motivation over time. And I want to solve this. So maybe that's all. Thank you. I give it back to moderator. Yeah, okay, that is the simple answer again from Nofi. Uh, is that satisfied for uh, Erma? For the answer? Oh, yeah, thank you, Dini. Okay. Uh, I have uh, you satisfied for the answer, yeah? And the next, we have a two question uh, for Tarisa. Uh, okay, I'd like to read the first one. Uh, this is from Muhammad Iqbal Naufal Ramdani. Uh, I have a question for Tarisa. Do you have any advice for uh, to practice our speaking skill in YouTube platform? Tarisa, you could uh, easily answer that. Yes, I can. Right. Uh, I want to answer the question from Iqbal. Uh, to practice our speaking skills in YouTube, uh, you can watch them from any uh, YouTube channel. Uh, for example, from the channel of uh, Learn English with Classic. Uh, there are so many practices that you can learn after you learn about the practice uh, from that uh, YouTube channel. Uh, you can uh, try to write a sentences and then uh, and then you can try to use the practice that practice uh, to talk to your partner or just talk to yourself about what you will do in the day uh, about what you have done. I think that's it. Okay, maybe another presenter have any question? Isti or Ipani? Eh, sorry, another answer maybe? Still have one? Okay, uh, still have one. I'd like to read the next question for Tarisa. Uh, here uh, from Irma Junior, uh, can you give me uh, an example based on this? on experience uh, regarding the implementation of five practice uh, you described earlier. Thank you. Arisa? All right. I could uh, easily answer again. All right. Thank you, Irma, for the question. Um, I think that's my experience. Uh, I ever, uh, I, I ever have, uh, what is it, a uh, schedule like, uh, I and my partner uh, always have conversation every night. And then before doing this, uh, I study the word that uh, I would be used in that conversation. And then, uh, yeah, I try to search uh, uh, the, the word uh, from YouTube by yeah, by watching your YouTube, the YouTube channel of maybe Papasi or, uh, or, or et cetera. Uh, and then uh, I write I, I write the the word uh, from the YouTube in my notebook, and then I try to uh, make a sentences that I will use. And after that, um, I use that uh, sentences in my conversation uh, at that night with my partner. I think that's it in my based for my experience. Okay, uh, thank you, Tarisa, for the simple uh, example of it. Uh, is the satisfied, uh, Irma? Yeah, we hope satisfied for the answer. Uh, okay, uh, the next, or may, or maybe uh, the, uh, another presenter would like to give an example. OK, 
Okay, still haven't? Okay. Uh, I'd like to continue to the next uh, question. Uh, here's from Andini. Uh, Andini uh, uh, has a question addressing to Ipani. Uh, what are the examples of uh, what activities can be done for reading activities using social media? Okay. Ivani, you could easily unmute your microphone. All right, thanks for the questions. I think for the example activities, we can through by uh, reading some news from the Twitter account, uh, which is, uh, I think, account of Lipetan 6, that is, uh, uh, that the Twitter account is about the news that, uh, uh, that we can read that uh, from the information about news. I think that's enough. Okay, thank you, Ivani. Uh, is that enough, Andini? Uh, may I add? Oh yeah, okay. Is the you could add uh answer for that. Thank you. Uh, I think there are a lot of reading activities that can be done on social media. Uh, as Ivani already mentioned on Twitter and maybe Facebook and even Instagram. And I think this is uh, something related to my material uh, because where we when, uh, when we keep repeating reading on social media, we can increase uh, our vocabulary in English. Thank you. Um, yeah. Thank you, Steve, for uh, adding the answer. Uh, there is uh, has a more detailed answer. Yeah. Uh, I hope uh, Andini uh, succeeded for the answer from Isti and Ipani, Ipani and Isti. Sorry. Okay, the next, uh, oh yeah, before that, I'd like to remind you uh, to fill uh, the present list uh, that has uh, shared by the committee. The, the link is on the chat box, okay. And maybe this is the last uh, question. Uh, this is for, from Lita Noraini. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam. Uh, my name is Lita Noraini. I have a question for Effie. Okay, for Effie again. Uh, in the title uh, mentioned before, uh, in the title mentioned to be a good listener, what is a difference uh, between a good uh, between a listener in general and a good listener? Uh, okay, uh, Effie, you could answer that. Okay. Uh, thank you, Rita, for asking. Okay, um, good listener that I mean in my presentation are the people who understand what they listen to and then they uh, their brains process the information and take action from the information they get. So not just listen and then uh, didn't know what uh, they listen to. And when you learn uh, English, you can do it uh, through YouTube uh, because in everyday life, uh, in our environment, it's very difficult to find people who speak English. So it's very uh, difficult to us to improve our listening skill if uh, we uh, didn't use uh, an application uh, like YouTube. All right, thank you. Okay, uh, thank you, Effie, uh, for the answer. Uh, I hope this is, uh, I hope Lita uh, satisfied for the answer, okay? Okay, uh, that's enough. There are so many questions here uh, from the participant. Uh, thank you very much uh, for the answer, uh, for the question, and thank you for the presenter uh, explaining the answer detailed and simply. Uh, I'd like to thank for all the speakers for the informative and interesting presentation before and all the participants for very, very active presentation. Eh, sorry, uh, very, very active participation here. Uh, finally, uh, we could give applause uh, for the speakers and of course, for all of us today. Maybe you could, uh, reaction, uh, any other reaction? Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, before we end this webinar, uh, let's take a photo together. Uh, you could, uh, Please turn, your, please turn on your camera on a minute for the photo session. This is for um, 
like a proof or any memories for us that uh, we uh, together actively engage in this webinar. Okay, there are three, three slides here. <clears throat> okay, I'd like to screenshot the first slide. Okay, uh, maybe you could uh, give some reaction. Okay, uh, okay, I'd like to screenshot. One, two, three. Okay, uh, wait, uh, I'd like to paste my phone. The next slide. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, wait. And then the last slide here. The third slide. Okay, one, two, three. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's it. <clears throat> Uh, okay, lastly, I'd like to remind you uh, to, uh, fee, uh, to fulfill the presence list before uh, on the chat box. Uh, the link is shared on the chat box. And then I'd like to remind you that there is still two topics you could uh, choose uh, in this today's webinar. That is the first one is learning English infused ways to self-development that moderate by me. And uh, the other one is maximizing your academic skills by enriching English competencies that would like to moderating by Angel. Okay, uh, uh, and the next webinar will start at 9.30. Uh, okay, lastly, uh, I'd like to say thank you. Thank you very much for all participants and for all presenters. Uh, sorry if I have any mistake. And thank you for your nice attention. Uh, Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay. okay. <laughs> Thank you guys. Oh yeah, it's okay, man. That's okay. Thank you, thank you again for joining this webinar. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> Good, thank you. Yeah, thank you, ma'am.